Someone requested that I make a video how to assemble the ABS siphon, the above bed siphoning, so I'm going to make one uh, demonstrating the miniaturized ABS siphon uh, because it's, you know, <laughs> obviously the hardest one to do. It took me quite a while to do it. The easiest thing to do is to find the correct parts to make your life easier, uh, such as these uh, reducing elbows. This is a one inch uh, reducing elbow uh, down to, I believe it's dirty. <laughs> I think it's one inch to three quarter inch. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me get a I'm not positive. <laughs> it may just be, uh, hang on. Okay, I stand corrected. This is a one inch reducing, uh, I mean a one inch uh, street elbow, I think they call it, where it'll fit into a, another one inch elbow. So, it just, you know, it just makes it easy to put it together and to miniaturize it. It's a one inch elbow, but the, the other end of the, it's a straight elbow. The other end will slip into another one inch elbow. And this is a one inch reducing elbow. This one inch street elbow, which just slips into another one inch elbow. This is a one inch reducing elbow down to a half inch. And uh, so I just took and I cut this off you know, I'm trying to fit it in a four inch drain pipe. So I just take and cut that off. And then uh, I don't think I cut this one, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it because you wanna get your, uh, your bands in your pipe for your siphon up as, as high as you can. It just makes the siphon process work better. And uh, then I already had this cut and I also cut the end off of this one here and I cut the end here and uh, so that I can fit them together and get them in a four inch drain pipe. And Just to cut a fresh piece, just small enough to slip inside both elbows, you know, probably like three quarters of an inch long here at, at best. Uh, after I've cut them down to size, and I already had this one cut down, I cut this one on both sides. You just have to be careful and make sure you don't cut too much off and you waste an elbow and have to that you just make it useless and have to throw it away i've done that a few times but you want to make sure you cut enough off where you can get it as small as you need it in order to get it all together inside the drain pipe it's pretty hard to get that in there after, especially after you cut that off, it's really a snug fit. I usually have to take it and put it on the ground and uh, tap it with something, which I may have to do. I want to show it put together. Uh. Okay, good. I don't know how to edit my videos for YouTube, and I don't want to. No, y'all don't want to sit and watch me fool with this all day long. Ugh. Come on, baby, come on. There we go, and I need to 
another piece which I'm gonna well I'm gonna leave this in the size it is it should be okay but uh, I would reduce it now yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce it I'm gonna do this video right I'm gonna reduce it down because I if I'm making this for real and was going to use it, I would want to get this up as high as I could. Which I don't need one right now. I'm going to have to make some more grow beds. But, uh, and obviously you want to measure, you know, see what height you need it to be <clears throat> but you want to get this part as high as you can on all of your siphons because it makes it drain quicker because if 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 you had this lower like uh, towards the bottom of your grow bed then as you started getting down towards the bottom of the bed your siphon uh, flow rate would slow down and uh, you know you want it to break siphon when you've got a good you know you want a strong siphon all the way through the complete cycle and uh, and that gives you a better quicker break versus uh, you know waiting for it to slow down and then water still coming in and trying to break siphon so this just makes it have a good strong siphon throughout the entire process and then uh, get a good strong break. Let me get a piece of pipe and this just doesn't matter. Just take this down to the bottom of the bed wherever you want it within a half inch you know within an eighteenth of an inch. I mean just as long as it can get water through there you're good to go. The important part is get this up high. Get this bend up high right here and then I'm gonna you know and then just get the height that you want you know a couple inches uh, the water to come up you know a couple inches below your gravel once you get that established then just make sure this pipe goes all the way down wherever you want it it doesn't matter because if you got this up high you're gonna be getting a good strong drainage uh, all the way down and it's gonna have a good break should have a good break at the end unless you got way too much water uh, coming in or you don't have things plumbed correctly I've, I've got one over there that I couldn't get more water in it for nothing with a bell siphon and now I, I've put quite a bit of water into it with uh, this exact siphon it still breaks and uh, I'm going to uh, just demonstrate this does fit the four inch drain pipe There's my four-inch string pipe. It doesn't just fit in there. There's plenty of room. And uh, you can't see down in there, but uh, there's so much room with this siphon that you don't even have to uh, worry about having it offset that much from the middle uh, because these obviously if you're using a bell siphon you got the drain right in the center yeah, these are offset just slightly uh, and the bigger ones actually are offset quite a bit but you can build any size you want this is a miniaturized size uh, and I really like these reducing elbows and these street elbows and uh, just look at some of my other videos and if you're gonna put one together you know just just if, if you have a, I didn't have the option. I don't live in a big city. We didn't have a, I had to go online and order and find a lot of this stuff. If you've got a, a really good uh, irrigation supply, you know, they may have all this stuff in stock and you can just go put your hands on the pieces, you know, and see what fits together and what you can get in the smallest amount of uh, space or in a six inch drain, take you a measuring tape 
and just uh, you know see what's going to work for you. Uh, one thing that I've done is uh, for tweaking it. You know, there's two ways on top is to add water or use a smaller uh, you know pipe on the underside as I demonstrate in one of my other videos. With this one, you should be fine. Uh, you know, just drain straight down. You know, you got a, a half inch pipe, you got a one inch pipe over here and a half inch pipe over here. This one works well, shouldn't have any problem. Some of my bigger ones, uh, when I'm trying to get a lot of water flowing, as I explained in one of my other videos, you know, I'll plumb, I'll plumb it out my, my siphon in various ways. They pretty much all work. Uh, I use some huge pipes, the two and a half inch, the three inch, and then, you know, go down to one and a quarter or one and a half or one inch or even three quarter. Uh, what I found that I, I like the best is, you know, I work my siphon up however I want to put it together and I miniaturize it, you know, later after I get it working the way I want. Pretty much got it down to an art now. But, uh, you know, you can, you can reduce, you know, down to three quarters of an inch pipe on the underside of the bed and uh, just put a couple of bins in the pipe, you know, if you're having any problems with your drainage, uh, well, you know, with it siphoning, uh, the speed of the siphon, you know, as far as how quickly does it begin to fire once it starts overflowing. You can go down to three quarter inch pipe on the underside of the, of the grow bed. And if you have a two inch drop and two inches of runoff, as I explained in one of my other videos, or if you got four inches of drop, go with four inches of runoff. You know, and you get four inches of drop, an elbow, four inches of runoff, an elbow, or six and six, or two and two. It seems to be the sweet spot. You know, I just try to keep it flush under the bed, and then, you know, just, I think, it seems like the sweet spot is about how much runoff, how much drop you got, is about how much runoff you want before you put the next elbow on, get a good snug fit, and uh, drop down into your drain pipe, make sure it's big enough for air and water. And, uh, that that pretty much covers it. That that smaller pipe, like you know, if you've got uh, a, a two inch to a one inch, you know, like here, if I instead of one to a half, if it's like two inch to one inch, and then once I get on the bottom side of the bed, convert to three quarter inch pipe. You know, that just call, makes it where the the siphon will fire more quickly. It's still uh, you know, even though it slows down the drain rate, it still seems like it uh, it drains uh, very well. I mean, it, it, it seems like it's just getting plenty of, of flow rate, rate of flow in my siphon cycle process, but uh, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, it, you know, it just causes the siphon to fire more quickly. So that's another tweak that you can do if you don't have the luxury of turning the uh, flow rate into your grow bed up just a little bit that's one thing you can do you know is to just add that few bins in the pipe on the bottom side of the tank uh, you know and uh, that that seems to be the sweet spot however much drop under the bed is about how much runoff you want you just two bins and drop straight into your drain uh, I hope this helps thanks